Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Thursday, August 28th, and we're honored to have with us Fujia and Miyagi. Oh. 
Fuji and Miyagi on Audio Tree Live. Thanks, you guys, so much for coming out and playing for us here in Chicago today. No problem. Yeah. Uh, I would like to know... I, I feel like um, electronic music is, like, slowly... Like with the EDM thing, I guess, is, like, slowly catching up in America. Or, like, you know, we're behind a little bit, I think. Uh, but I would like to know, like, have you guys seen it grow in your communities, like, back home? Or, or has it kind of... Yeah. Well, we kind of... That's how we... Uh, came to be we were from electronic sure. music sure. sort of we were not really a band to start with we were just sampler based yeah so it's kind of feels more natural but you know chicago is the home of house music yeah and, for sure you know so there's there's obviously a, a, a big history there yeah but uh yeah i think everywhere is more interested in electronic music now i'm sure it's cyclical though isn't it sure guitar right, bands right. Will, will come back stronger but yeah, at the moment, it's nice. Yeah, yeah, for real. Um, do you have any opinion or perspective, kind of, especially on, like, you know, at Lollapalooza, there's, like, a whole EDM section now, basically a tent with just, like, electronic dance music. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, do you think that's positive, like, for the community of electronic musicians? Or, yeah, any perspective well, I think, on that? you know, it's less... I think music's less tribal now. Like, everyone's... Sure. Uh, uh, here's so many different types of music. It may seem, maybe seems a shame to have one type of music. Right. One thing that could be, <laughs> right. You know, you, you can like Towns Van Zandt and you can like Carl Craig. It's okay. Yeah. You know, so maybe it should be more mixed up. Sure. Yeah. That's good insight. Sweet. All right. Um, you guys can go into your next song. Together. 
GN Miyagi on Audio Tree Live. I would like to know, um, anyone who would like to speak, uh, on what music you listened to when you were like a teenager and whether that influences anything that you make today. Uh, Maybe like 15, if you can think. I liked someone called Shaken Stevens who was like the Welsh Elvis. Okay, sweet. <laughs> so, uh, and, then, and then I liked Madness a lot. And then, and then when I was a bit older, I started listening to John Peel when I was about 13 or 14. Okay. Famous uh, DJ who was really influential. And then I heard like The Fall and Captain Beefheart and yeah. exposed to all this crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, which like was a, Weird World. It was a bit music. more extreme than Shaking Stevens. Yeah, so. <laughs> for sure. So yeah, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. My mum was a big Carpenters fan. Okay, cool. And my dad liked Gene Vincent. So, uh, and I can't really, I like Gene Vincent and the Carpenters, but I can't really hear any... Yeah, similar. So that's yeah. anything in our music. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> I saw, though, an interesting, like, you talk about how Captain Beefheart and even, like, MF Doom are influences lyrically just because they, like, put words together, um, maybe that just sound unique. Yeah, and yeah, that I you like attempt both to do of that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose if you've got a limited vocal range, and I mean, obviously, Captain Beefheart had an amazing... Sure. Uh, but, like, me... I haven't got an awful lot to play with notes sure. wise, <laughs> yeah. so I've got to look elsewhere. Yeah, and uh, and I, you know I just like to hear the words that aren't normally in songs. It sure, kind of, it interests me. Yeah, yeah, especially that like like that vocab challenge almost, where you have to like search for different content or like different words. You know, instead of writing a love song or whatever, like it's pretty standard. You yeah, know. but I think after a while, it, it's not like it's just how I write words, so sure. it's not so contrived really. It's yeah. just how I do it. Right on. Others, uh, music that you listen to or anything when you were like 15? Oh, 15. Um, I used to like uh, like the synth pop in the 80s, but I was a bit younger than 15. Okay. You know, like uh, Erasure and uh, kind of Vince Clark stuff. Yeah. I, and I guess I'm playing keyboards Yeah, I guess now, now you're doing so, that, uh, so maybe. Maybe that influenced <laughs> me. Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I, sp- I like Velvet Underground and stuff like everybody else does when they're 15, but I, I'm not sure it filters into the music yeah maybe, maybe it does i don't know <laughs> maybe your style maybe yeah, it's like yeah. deep in your soul or yeah. something that stuff yeah uh for you too anything uh, uh like motown and metal cool kind of kind of flip <laughs> kind of flip-flop between the two i like that so what <laughs> metal uh well uh, i suppose metallica okay embarrassing so, yeah <laughs> that's fine uh, a bit of iron maiden of course yeah. been <laughs> british metal but, uh, black sabbath but uh, yeah, I'm still there. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still still rocking it. For you, man. Uh, I came from like the DC area and like grew up going to shows in DC. So it was like Fugazi. Sweet. Yeah. Unrest and Velocity Girl and Jawbox and it was fantastic. I was very yeah. lucky to be able to go to those shows and they always played free outdoor shows in the summertime. So Heck yeah. I was there when I was like 14, 15 years old. That's a sweet community to be a part of too. Yeah, it was great. Sweet. All right, uh, you guys can go to your next song.
Fuji and Miyagi on Audio Tree Live. You guys can get ready to go into your next song, and I will just say that they're playing a bunch of shows, Midwest, East Coast, then up to Canada, and then back on the West Coast in October, so check them out. And they're playing the Concord Music Hall tonight uh, with Chet Faker, so if you're in or around the Chicago area, check them out, please, and support the band. Take care.
Audio Tree Live with Fujian Miyagi. Before you guys go into your last song, um, I'm interested in the difference possibly between like crowd behavior uh, in the UK versus like in the US, or or if you see a difference in the way that crowds behave at shows um, here versus home. Uh, I think American crowds are generally maybe a bit more enthusiastic. Okay. It kind of it it depends maybe sometimes in the bigger cities, uh, so like Paris or London, maybe there's that cliche that they're a bit more reserved and a bit more impress me. Sure. Whereas yeah. If you go yeah. 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 Else, it's like, like I want to have fun. Back yeah. Like yeah. This, like, yeah. But uh, I think kind of we've been doing it long enough, so when we're playing to people who come to see us, generally it feels like they're rooting for us and sure. want to have want to enjoy themselves. Yeah. So. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Others? Anyone else on that? Or? Um, I kind of agree with Dave. Kind okay. Of the, the bigger cities are just kind of a little bit, kind of people are a bit cooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but you know, that's kind of you get used to it. But sometimes when you go somewhere like uh, Dublin or somewhere like that, everyone just wants to party hard. Yeah. And, and there's places in America, West Coast and America. Anyone? Yeah. Chicago's good. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're forced to say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't have to at all. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think sometimes Chicago can be kind of cold, but I'm glad that I'm glad that you have a good. Oh, we've had like, fun in Chicago. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. positive. I yeah. think for sure. <laughs> all right, uh, take it away, guys.
Audio Tree Live with Fujia and Miyagi. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Playing. Thanks a lot. Absolutely. Uh, thanks to Epic Cabs. Thanks to Goose Island. Thanks to Studio and Sound Engineers hooking it up in there. Camera and Lighting Crew. Uh, viewers, thanks for watching. Support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the studio, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. <laughs>